What is up everyone, Knixus here, and welcome back to Dong and Rumba V3 Killing Harmony. Yet again, it is early in the morning, and I am I always catch these tri last trials early in the morning. Last time was at 3, this time is at 2. Maybe I'll get a good night of sleep, and maybe I won't. But anyways, I'm not tired like I was last time, so hopefully I can pay attention more. But as you remember last time, SOMEBODY DIED! Either Kaito or Korkichi. And most likely, after thinking about it, after taking a break, it has to probably have been Kaito who died, because Kokichi's probably fucking with us now. And then, if this really is Kokichi that's not dead, and Kaito's the one that's dead, then more than likely, this will probably be the last class trial. Because if we expose Kokichi, then he's gonna get executed, and then we win. But, where will our hope lead us? I don't know. Anyways, um... I don't have much, so I can't buy much. But moves time penalty for break. No, I don't need that. Uh, attention. The tension guard will increase at faster rate effective during argument. Uh, 2D love. Some panels will be filled in from the beginning, effective during closing arguments. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, thoughts. A oh, loss in thought. So I increase the time limit in each phase. No, I don't really need that. Cool and compose. Makes the reticle shaky. Uh, that's good. Um, I don't know. Increases the delay after using a true boat. No, I don't know that. Uh, neutral. I don't have enough for that. <laughs> Can't use Maki's thing. <laughs> I don't have enough for that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't really think there's anything. First strike. The key words in the first speaker's arguments will be shown from the start. Effective. Nah, I like the, the skirms. I want to finish, uh, figure that out for myself. Power of life and death makes it easier to push the opponent back during blade lock. Effective, I haven't really gotten many blade lock. Safety first removes the time penalty for breaking non-erasable pieces. Uh, effective, yeah, that's actually good. Um, equip that, and then let's go into the trial. Oh boy, I hope I don't even know what I hope because if my boy Kaito is alive, then one of us kills Kokichi. And if Kokichi's alive, then my the boy Kaito is dead. Of the class trial. And all the cubs are dead now, too. That's actually kind of depressing. <laughs> but still, either way, either way, because like I said, like I just literally said, if Kaito's dead, then my boy's dead, and that's just garbage. But if Kokichi's dead, that means one of us did it, and somebody is gonna get executed. And I like the remaining cast. Everyone here is pretty cool. So, if we have to execute one of us... Uh, God damn it. Like, either way, this trial is gonna... It's just gonna fuck with me. God damn it. Anyways... Yeah, let's do this. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for Question mark. Oh, that's nice. Is, and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. Yeah. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Yeah. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Uh, have you looked in a mirror? <laughs> Seriously? Honestly! <laughs> what happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face killer. <laughs> this case has some unique circumstances. Is that so? Unique circumstances? Yeah, he has a question mark, too. Cause for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown! But shouldn't you know since you know everything? Or are you most likely Kokichi, so you're just being a little shit again? Given these circums- That's kind of odd, because now- Now that if Kokichi's the mastermind, that means he's the one controlling Monokuma, and if that's true, that means for this game, I'm gonna have to hate my boy! Because Kokichi is just garbage! I don't want to hate Monokuma, Monokuma's actually cool, but if that little shit's controlling him, then I have to hate him, because... Ah, oh, that's some conflicting stuff right there. Dances. I like Monokuma, no, I can't like him in this game if Kokichi really is the mastermind. I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous! So. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Yeah. 
Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. Oh. It's all Why? part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. It's probably Kokichi. He's just waiting up here like a little shit. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. But well, where do we start? What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. I don't want it to it's be, but I want it to be at the same time. Certain. It's conflicting shit. I don't shit. even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. We don't know that! But we need to be absolutely sure. Yeah. If we don't positively identify the victim, the other person will never show themselves, right? Exactly. Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. It's not obvious. Everyone thinks that Kaito was the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Oh boy. Let's see here. What do we got? Buy all hot dog, press Kaito's coat, Kokichi's clothes, the and what? Kokichi's appearance. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. That's true. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. That's true too. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Yes, that is true. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim Wait. must be Kaito. Wait, maybe. And the culprit must be Kokichi! You lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast her by spells. Uh oh. Ah, uh, there's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has to be Kaito. I believe I know which one is true. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, there we go. That's wrong! Yeah! Why was... No, really, though. A legit question? Why was his clothes in the toilet? I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes. And look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. So was his scarf, like, attached to the coat? I thought it was just the scarf. <laughs> I didn't know it was attached to the coat. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Yeah. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. I mean, but yeah, it's only his coat. Right. We have no it's one complete of those proof about that. Evidence his coat, which is something he could take off. I mean, he did only wear one sleeve. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito. Uh. Yeah, his um left hand is the one he puts through the sleeve, so if that was the left hand hanging out, his hand should be hanging out of the thing. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she wanted to believe Kaito was alive. Or still alive. Yeah, you think of her of all people will want to believe that. Because I guess maybe she doesn't want to believe it because that would mean maybe Kaito murdered him and she doesn't want to believe that, but I, I don't know. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. Uh, the owner of the clothing, the sleeve of the jacket. Yeah, the sleeve of the jacket. That's it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? Yeah. If Kaido had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. Yeah, because if it was his left arm, his left arm is usually in his sleeve. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. 
So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... I knew it. Ah, that, that little dash, I knew someone was going to interrupt me. God damn it. You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. Oh. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Maki, please. <laughs> Maki, please. <laughs> you're already hurting me in other emotional ways. Don't. Don't do this to me. Ah, Kaito's coat is flying and buzzing. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. Yeah. What do you mean? Exactly. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. Well, so he when put the one arm. When the press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand, then be quiet already. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. What? 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 I, I don't have time to see what claims I have. That's the problem. He always dressed himself in a rather uh, odd manner. Uh, uh. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. Wait! Uh, uh, fuck! Uh, uh, there we go! I'll cut through your words. Kaito always had his left arm in his sleeve, and the right arm always hung out. I know my homie! <laughs> it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. Yeah. He wore his left sleeve normal. Exactly. I know my boy! Even if he's been being a dick to me as the late. was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Exactly. Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. But he never does that. And uh, now I just now thought of this. Another thing. If the body's unknown, why would they let the sleeve hang out? That would obviously point to, oh, it has to be Kaito in there. If the body's unknown, wh why is that a factor? They would have put the sleeve inside the press. Someone wanted you to think it was probably Kaito, so they left the sleeve hang out. That's the only thing you can really think of with this. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Yeah, I mean, yes, he could have not had him in, but... We've never seen him without it in, like, at all. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Well, it probably isn't Kokichi. That's the problem. Maki, what's really going on? She knows something. She's being really weird. Anyways, seems you've made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. What if Kokichi isn't really the mastermind? Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Okay. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Who is it? In use. Oops. Exosol. Why? What? What? An Exosol? Yeah, what? What? Why is an Exosol here? Exactly! <laughs> Whoops. Oh. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? Exosol Kaito, excuse me? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Yeah. Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. So, we'll get out of it. <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Uh... Hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. I TOLD YOU IT WAS KOKICHI! Stupid! Oh. That was just a lie! You piece of... garbage. <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! You literal piece of garbage. K Kokichi? 
I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's old. Yeah. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. It really is. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. I'm thoroughly confused. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? What is this? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. What? Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. I'm so confused of what's happening It was right in now. the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Oh. I, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see someone get crushed to death. I'm good. Oh, Just tell us who then. it was. Let's I mean, it's obviously Kaito, I guess, moments. but it's like... I don't want to see that. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exosol, hooked up to the courtroom monitor, and played the tape for us. I don't want to see someone get crushed. Well, <sighs> you've got to be kidding me, right? Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. Gonna... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Wait. Was there a hole in the jacket? Because there's a hole in that one. Was that... Was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my bark over to you. That's just disgusting, even if that's real. <sighs> I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... It's just nasty. Why? Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us 
Oh, that he was a mastermind. That the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? He's... That, he sounds so fake, though. Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? No. Is something's it okay not, that this uh, trial is so Something's not short? right with this. That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. He may be the mastermind. But I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? Yeah. That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the Mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Exactly. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? I don't know! I'm confused as shit now! If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! Seriously? What? That contradicts what you said previously. Yep, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? An actual fuck. Uh, what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine. Because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option. Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? I don't even know what. This is. I don't even know. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is... 
Kokichi Oma the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Huh. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is. I think it was him and Harold. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that finish from earlier, right? That's wrong! Uh, but even so, like, how? Like, what? The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. Yeah. The safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Yep. Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means, it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Oh, I guess in the... Uh, what we saw in that video. He was already dead by then? I guess in the uh, little picture they didn't add it, but now there's the hole and stuff. But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No. I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. Yeah. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. Exactly. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro- No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. Yeah. What? The crossbow. Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Uh, there was a crossbow in the bathroom. Perhaps a victim was killed there. Then there should have been evidence of the body being carried. Yeah. Oh, actually, I just have to submit the blood trail then, I guess. This is it! There it is. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. Yeah. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh! That was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? We what? only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. The hole on their sleeve. There! Yeah, could've got poisoned. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon! I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse! What? Okay. Hey, Miko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. Yeah, you kind of are. saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve. That pass it? Yeah, I did. This is it! 
I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. Yep. A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Himiko, did you Seriously, do Himiko? some shit? What's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Right. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. It has to have been Himiko, because she was seen with the black case, but why did she shoot him? That is the question. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? I'm not sure if he's saying that is in. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. That's wrong. Like, is he saying those questions? Cause he said it to Junko, then hope and despair. Is he saying that as in like? He's building Maybe up something, like, he's like, oh, was possible yeah, was that was possible. things, or he's saying it because he doesn't know, because if he doesn't know, that's problematic. Because that might mean that he's not the goddamn master. There was master a window mind. in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window... They could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! God damn it. <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means. It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Uh, uh, I'm getting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick of your shit, Maki! Please! I'm trying to save everyone! Is that what a detective does? A detective. It, uh, uh, yeah. Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? I, I, you're. Uh. It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial too. I'm doing these things to be safe. I can't play favorites. You're telling me not to put my belief in things, and now you're telling me not. To, uh, wh what the fuck do you want from me, Maki? I'm trying to help everyone. You're really hurting me in more ways than one now. God damn it! I suspect my friends so I can help my friends. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. What is your problem as of late? Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. Ah. Uh, hmm. I'm not what? sure to take that. Are you after my small hole too? I I don't know how to take this. What is happening? This trial is very confusing. I'm already suffering heartache from everything that's going on. Can we See? not that's make things. Definitely. Possibly perverted. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. You got fucking played! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You just got played! <laughs> oh my god! 
Kivo just threw your ass under the bus in a second. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. It's oh, I, I didn't, I didn't even do that. What did she even say? I didn't even do that. You were watching me? There we go. Probably just wishes that he went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Why? We don't know that for a don't fact. Don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. She kind of is in a sense. That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Really? Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprit! What? Is Why that even possible? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, but only you and Kaito, and I guess me, know how to assemble that thing. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. God damn it! Maybe I don't know really. This is very because I thought Himiko could have shot him, but Himiko doesn't know how to put it together. Uh number one suspect. I was only replenishing my magic. What do you mean replenishing your magic? There's a good magic source around there. So I went there empty-handed. Number one suspect. Wait, no, 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 fuck! No, wait! Wait, what? No! Made a mistake. Who's Kibo's account? Didn't it say she had a case? Uh, she had a black bear. Yeah, what do you mean? That's wrong! Then explain the crossbow. There's a good magic source around there. I'm the number one. So there we go. What did I it get wrong before? Didn't it? Wasn't it still the empty-handed thing? You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? Yeah. What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. No! That was probably... Samugi cosplaying as me! We've been through this Samugi can't cosplay real people. Why are you throwing everybody under the bus, Himiko? <laughs> Did she actually kill him? <sighs> you know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. <laughs> what? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! <laughs> That's true, though. That, yeah, that is true. Uh, but can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspicious. I don't know. The only thing I can say is she couldn't have assembled it because she doesn't know how. I'm not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. Stop. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. I didn't even use the crossbow! Uh, mm -hmm. Another true statement. God, stop! And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact, Amundo! 
Why does this all sound so fishy? Ah, Kokichi won't shut up! Exactly. Get out of my head, To hit Kaito with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could he have done this? That's the question. He's not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. There's a crossbow. It will restore object by case. It was complicated to assemble. But yeah. I only carried the case. Yep, yep. That's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Uh. Me? Mm -hmm. Another true statement. Oh, I hit the white text down. And that's all. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. One hundred percent exact, Mundo. Stop. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. No, I don't want that. Another Get out of here. <laughs> the stupid thing I hate about lying. Uh, I think it's the second statement, because, like I said, the crossbow's complicated to use, so I don't think she did. Let's see. Stop. You piece of garbage! Stop moving! You- God damn it. Oh my god. This is annoying. I hate when the text just weirdly moves like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does this game hate me? <laughs> oh my god. This is annoying. Oh my god, am I gonna do this again? I gotta go through this again? <laughs> there we go, Jesus! I don't think Kimiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Yeah. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? You threw Maki under the bus and now you expect her to back you up? Uh, Himiko, I don't... Oh, just hearing her call for help from Maki is kind of making me cringe a bit. It's like, after you just threw her under the bus, you expect her to help you out? Like, what? Oh, I don't even want to see her answer. Oh. What's wrong? Are you mad about this? Oh, uh, hmm, let me see. If someone said I was very suspicious to throw the attention off of them, I'm pretty sure I'd be pissed too. Sorry. Thought you were friends. I thought they were gonna suspect me, so I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Yeah, you, Mr. Ultimate Liar. Jesus. I'm sorry, Maki. Please. Can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! You need to apologize to everyone you threw under the bus. Except Kokichi, no one cares about him. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. <laughs> I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was Kaito. That's it! Was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? 
Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Why would you listen to Kokichi, though? <laughs> because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow. He certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Yeah, that's kind of like shooting yourself in the foot there. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. No one likes you. Nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. What? <laughs> he did say that before, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to this. <laughs> My boy is more than likely dead, and I'm sitting here laughing at a trial. God damn it, this trial is weird, man. But I don't even know. Kokichi's acting odd as well, though. I don't... <sighs> what was with the whole talking like Kaito thing in the beginning, then? Like, what the shit? Anyways, but to think that Kaito asked him to do that. Maybe Kaito was trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. <laughs> Don't be worried. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. And then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. <sighs> Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Oh. Don't bully the person you like. This oh. is way beyond uh, bullying a person's crush. This trial, please, Himiko. Just when exactly me a did Aiko ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi. I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. I don't and think he needs to tell me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was a. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, that one part. You know, you didn't need to say that. <laughs> so if Kaito asked for another crossbow, way, you just shot that yourself mean in he the was foot. Going to kill Kokichi? Yeah, it's a possibility. No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? Yeah. I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Do I show Kokichi? Not like a thing with a hole in his clothes or just from the hangar store. This is it! Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? Then it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? Yeah, that's... There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. She's been acting strangely, yes. But why? Does she know something? So, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then, let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. 
There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. Uh, are you sure? <sighs> you sure about that? Even Monokuma had to say it! <sighs> huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. Yeah. What? Is he? Because the voice changed from Kaito to him, so... How? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But so did Kaito's. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Look at that. What? Ha, because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. So... The luminary of the stars has arrived. This time for real. I don't know what to believe anymore. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Whoa oh, there, Jill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why? Why not? Yeah. I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? What, me? Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Explain to I... everyone how I wasn't the one that died. I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> how am I supposed to explain this? I don't understand. Kaito is alive after all? No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with Kaito or Kakichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case... I really think it's Kokichi. Most of the evidence we have now shows that Kaito is the victim. Hmm? What's the matter, Shuichi? You just gotta say with confidence. Can't look away from the God damn it. So, so it is Kaito. Damn it. I'm trying. I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will oh. never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Well, why don't they just open up the Exosol thing and then we can see who's inside there? He doesn't have to come out, but we can see who's in there. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Alright! Let's give it everything we've got! Monokuma sounds normal now. It doesn't sound high pitched like he did in the beginning. So is he gonna come up with us? How is this gonna work? And who's on my team? Am I by myself? I don't even know anymore. This trial is really goddamn confusing. Oh. 
Oh, Maki's on my side. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I've got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Maki! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Maki! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind. Maki! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm doing so bad in this one! Usually not that bad. <laughs> my team keeps going little and little. I feel... <laughs> I feel lonely. <laughs> Last time it was three and now it's two. I don't if there's another trial after this, I'm pretty no sure I'm gonna be the only one on that damn side. <laughs> Anyways. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. That was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. He is. He really is. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! The hell are you sweating about? Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but what do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! Gosh. Oh boy. Let's go three arrows left to fly. When the crossbow fire. fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Yeah. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how oh, did fuck! they shoot each other? Damn it! By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. Oh, I saw it. I just didn't get to it in time. My reaction time was way off on that. Then Kuchichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Oh that's wrong! Yeah! That's wrong! Ah! I don't even know what that is, but anyways. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? Mm -hmm. Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... What? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! 
Well then, that's strange, because... There's three arrows. There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What's going on here? Maybe Kokichi had some hidden way? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? Yeah, that's a little stupid. <laughs> but we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the sea. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. Yeah, Kaito had one shot, and then... Or, yeah, and Kokichi So had we two. know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko's lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? Could it what could it have been? Think. I need to think. Psych taxi. Three questions. Alright, let's do it. Let's go! Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's do it. Uh, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, that was bad. Oh, boy. How many arrows did him have with Kaito? One. I... I honestly don't know how this trial is. Where this trial is going. My boy is dead. Oh, there's four? Oh, Jesus. But as I was saying, my boy is actually dead, but what the shit? Are you telling me Kokichi didn't actually kill him? Because if he didn't, then who the hell killed Kaito? Like, uh... Now that we've cleared the Himiko thing, the only other thing I can think of is Maki have had to been there, because why else is there, like, crazy scratches all over the, uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh... The control panel next to the door. Uh, where all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? I don't think so. No. Uh, because that would explain the uh, hammer and the scratches. Maki used her hammer, so it would have been dead by morning, since it dies fast, so she would have been able to use it with us, that's why she just brought the knife, and she probably used the knife to do something, I don't know why, because I mean, if she used a hammer to disable it, why use the knife to fuck it up? Who brought the two arrows? Ah! Maybe Kaito hit them on himself? I don't know. Let's see, what are the answers? A third party. Has to be a third party going. Someone else had to have gone there with him. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Pokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Yeah. Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way, some, um, some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think. 
What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Wingman's Gambit. Oh. I think I know what it is, if I can find the right... Is that it? Uh, no. Uh... Uh, maybe it's not what I think it is, but... Maybe it's... Yeah, it is what I think it is, then. There you go. Complete. That's it. The Exosaw. The Exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. Yeah. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosaws, right? Yep. So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosaw. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. Yeah, there you go. So was I was about this to say that he was party party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an Exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Yep, look at it'd that. it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said? Third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? Yep. But can just anyone pilot an exosol? Uh, well, Kokichi. It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, oh. you can do it. I I don't know about that. Nipples too! Uh. Anyway, this third party commandeered an exosol and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Why? Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. But Monokuma just said it is. What? Not possible. Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide? Or what? Yeah, why are you trying to hide? Why? Why won't you tell me? Monokuma well, just said you could. What do you mean you can't, bro? What? If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remote. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were... No, that's, that's wrong. wrong! Yes, because I found a used one next to it. Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know, because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Yeah. Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. 
Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? Most likely. <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? It's obvious. Identity of the third party. The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. There's only one person without their hammer this morning. I saw four Exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do it. Where's my girl? It's you! Yep. I knew it. Maki. I didn't know how the electro hammer was used. I thought she probably hit the for, whatchamacallit, the scanner over there, but I guess not. What? It's Maki? She was the only one without her hammer. What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quick. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot, got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... She was the only one without the hammer. Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather you not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. A knife? Oh, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Yep. Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosol with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. Oh, okay. Uh, God damn it, again? Why are you doing this? What do you mean? What? Why are you getting in my way? What do you mean? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes. Oh. Uh, I she admit to going party, into but... the hangar with an exosol. And then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! I didn't say you were the culprit, but I was just saying you went in. I never assumed you were the culprit. Well, I did, actually, in the beginning, but I don't know. As the trial led up to this point, I didn't think you were the I culprit, the but hammer. before I did... And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I'm not the culprit. I never said you were. Because the crossbow was not the murder weapon. I didn't even know what the murder weapon was. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? Yeah. What do you I, mean? What do you... How do you know? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An Fuck. arrow to each of those spots. Fuck. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Uh, Therefore, it, it's so I'm not weird. the culprit. I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. I can't even get to see anyways, but the way she's scrambling to defend herself. The arrows left holes in her clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. There you go. I'll cut through your words! Yeah! It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. 
if that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Yeah. Marky, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? Are you? Th there's no way she is! Because why would she kill Kaito? Why? Maki. I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Please, Maki, this is... You didn't kill the homie, did you? We're, we were all friends, but... Maki is still fighting. Huh? Do you remember that Sorry. Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be. That's it! Jesus Christ, are She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. You really... Sacrifice us? Why? Why did, if you were gonna aim for that, why didn't you just kill him yourself? Then, by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Why? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. What? But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone uh... else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? Uh, uh, what? What did you say? So, literally just kill ourselves for no reason? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So, Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So, Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. Yeah. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? I don't know. Uh, you guys think a lot of things about me, so I don't uh, know. You think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy... could be pretty stubborn. Then, what really happened? Maki, please tell us! Please! And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock! What? Don't just start narrating things! Yeah! I was about to say, wait, what?! <sighs> Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. What is happening? There's a lot of, there's a lot of fuckery going on here. But why would she kill the homie? Why did you kill Kaito, though? I, I thought we were friends. What? If you wanted to kill Kokichi, why didn't you just kill him directly then? If you were in the hangar, you could have done that. Why did you have to kill Kaito? Now you're well. alone. And then the Monokuma and Cub Seeder segment began. But with all the Monokubs destroyed, this segment was no longer possible. And so the curtain quickly fell. Yeah, I was about to say, it's not really Monokuma and Cubs theater anymore because there's no more cubs well let's do this the 
flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. So why didn't you kill him directly? I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You are naive. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow, probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? Yeah. He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Yeah, that's true. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Exactly. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. Probably, because Junko wanted to feel that, and she got off to that ending. Jesus Christ. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I don't understand anything you're saying. But anyway, why are you starting a killing game when it should have ended? Already know it's all meaningless and that I'm the mastermind. Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. But then... Kokichi? Why? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that... You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. <laughs> Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! 
After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. Sorry, but I can't die here. Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. Jesus Christ. D damn it! S stop Phew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not. Because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Aww, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki! But, in a sense, he kind of... Either way, she still, you know... The situation just got way worse, huh? Maki is gonna become the blackened responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! So don't you worry, Makiro. I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy. Even like that, you really are not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. You gotta live. But... I refused to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. Yeah, I thought so. I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from. Huh? Yep. After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more. But I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the Blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. But you're sacrificing all of us to do it. for all of your lives. That's kind of fucked up, Maki. So that's what happened. <sighs> you can't fucking do something like that after you botched your own thing. You should have just waited for us all to go in there. Since you decided to do that, you just kind of screwed all of us over. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you! Oh, where'd you get that knife? You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Ooh, Ooh. Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. Yeah, your head would have been rolling on the floor over there. Jesus. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys going to vote for? I don't know. You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. But don't you know the spare loves getting killed? Junko was fucking ecstatic when she got killed. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. Oh, huh? really? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand.
There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Oh. Really? A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Really? The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Uh... Black and it's okay to be damaged. Uh, okay, no, wait, maybe it's the control panel because it would have went off, right? Uh, that's it. Yeah, the alarm would have went off. I thought that at first, but I was like, no, but Monkey she did attack she used me. Monkey said to now. try to break the control panel and enter the hangar, but that doesn't make sense because there's an alarm system on the shutter. The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. Yeah. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. That's nah, impossible. The security there isn't that sloppy. When Keyboard got near it, it just went off. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. Then why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. That's right, there still must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. But what is the hidden truth? Actually, electronic lock crossbow. I did electric attempt long. to enter the hangar. Windows, front shutter, which is and I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. If you would approach the shutter. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel? I'm not going to tell any more lies. Seemed like the alarm system itself was working properly. So what can you learn from I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. We are At the problem. time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. No, no, the white tent. God damn it. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel? This protected by uh, the alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. The control panel for the electric barriers next to the shutter has marks on these little structures. There's that. Um... Hmm. It's protected by an electric barrier, and if someone approaches it, an alarm will sound throughout the academy. We disable with the alarm remote. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I'm not sure. I did attempt to enter the hangar and attempt to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Is it like people's statement or what? That it blocks it. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Do I have to lie here? I'm going to tell you. Huh. Do I have to lie? Or what, what's going on here? Maybe the alarm system itself is working properly. So what do you mean? I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have been certainty. What? Okay, no. I don't. I'm actually not sure. No, it should have gone 100 percent as long as it was together, right? So then, then what possibilities can we consider? Uh, I'm not sure what this is. I did attempt to enter the hangar, and I tried to destroy the control panel. <sighs> and with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? 
Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Do I have to the lie? But what would I lie about? I'm not going to tell any more lies. Oh, uh, what would I, I did attempt about? to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system... Cool. I don't really know. What? I can't. Uh, what would this be? Ah. Uh, and I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. It's the bomb. At the time, the alarm. What's the press? Shutter. The alarm. Okay, it was the bomb. Oh boy. I just wasn't sure. Like Jesus Christ. There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. Yeah. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. But Kokichi had three, remember? Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. Maybe Haito did. But we know that alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, son. I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kokichi using an electro bomb was disable the remote control, disable the press safety. Oh, yeah! That's it! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The Electra Bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. Yeah. That's true, but why would he do that? So he could kill Kaito. There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. Wrong. What aspect of this case runs contrary to new evidence? Mastermind of the killing game, Kaito's cause of death, but the ability of death. Is... Oh wait, no. Uh Kaito's cause of death, right? That's it! Kaito's cause of death. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote. Maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yes, a new cause of death could now be. The hydraulic press? This is it! Yeah. The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? That's still if the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. Yeah. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? Yeah. It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. No matter what? That's not true! We can probably solve this mystery too! Right, Shuichi? Duh. Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? It is possible. <laughs> well, there goes being optimistic! Uh, no, there's no evidence that determines the cause of death, absolutely. Oh, Shuichi, it can't be. I don't want to accept it either, but we... Oh, fuck. Well... 
I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? You can't check the body. And you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know. Because I was actually involved. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. God no damn. one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. Uh. Intuition. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? I'm going with you, Stan. The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Is it really? Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Still going with little shit. I don't care. I think my girl is good. I, 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 I don't care. Hey, that's my line. No. The one who decides when it's voting time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, no one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Huh? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Does he actually not know this time? What? what kind of a reaction is that? Yeah. The, the, the culprit, you say? Uh, yeah, yes, uh, of course I know. You should know everything. Hmm? Are you saying you honestly don't know for once? Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? Uh, what? Uh, how do we do this then? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Honestly, he should know. You're supposed to know everything. Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case. Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. Murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? What's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. Yeah, then he's probably not the mastermind. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? Yeah. That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. The Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Yeah. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exorcist. Yes. The Exorcists weren't protecting Monokuma. They yeah. Wait. They were... watching. That's it! Yeah. He was holding... They were watching Monokuma. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
they were circling him like the right. area watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an exocyte, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way it'll be fair to all the participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? Yeah. I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! But he probably isn't then. No. Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. Yeah. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. That's what I'm saying. That's the horrible part about all of this. Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Yeah, we have no proof Monokuma of that. hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. Right. He's a remnant of despair. But we forget that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Exactly. He could be a remnant of despair, but doesn't mean he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? I can't that without causing problems because I gotta run this trial fair and sweat even more reason to give us the answer yeah if you don't tell us the truth right now you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies exactly does that sound like a fair game would you say this class trial is fair yeah yeah tell us is Kokichi the real mastermind or not no need to think about it you're being way too forward Aren't you normally the forward one? Uh. I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. My bad, everyone. And what though. is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi. Cause he's not the mastermind. Fuck! So that'd be oh god damn it! That means someone does have to die! Damn it! Oh, what? oh Is shit! Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Well, why would you? That would give away your whole identity thing. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Yeah, that is what that would mean. I With the key so. from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, Kay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. But what about the Exosol? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? Oh. Mew's remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, 
You didn't know? No! Mew not only invented the electro bomb and the electro hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Oh. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the exosoles and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? No, because if you didn't tell us, she's still working with you technically. Fairness then. has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Ooh, get fucked, you little shit! Spite <laughs> towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Ooh. Oh, whatever. Don't it's way fuck more with my boy. To defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. I'm glad he's not the mastermind, but also sad because that means someone did kill Kaito. It was probably him, and if it, if so, then it still works out fine. But um, I mean, it's sad because my boy is dead. But at the same time, I'm glad he's not the mastermind because then I'd have to technically hate Monokuma because he would be controlling Monokuma. But Monokuma, you still my boy just because of this. What's going and on? And he helped us. It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Well, as long as he killed Kaito and we can execute him, it's all good. Yeah. What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yeah! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! Uh, then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Yeah. Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Well, I mean, how else are you being... What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and, and you, you don't, don't need, need to, to know. know. Yep. God damn it. But I wanna know. I do too. This is starting to hurt my brain. <laughs> Everything keeps happening, and it's so confusing. <laughs> I have a legit headache from all the fuckery of this trial. The real mastermind is not Kokiji. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko Enoshima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who's planned this killing game? Anyway, we're this gonna find that out now. Has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. But if you don't know who the killer is, then how? This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. Is that the next trial? <laughs> or... Yeah. Get to talking. What are we gonna talk about when you don't even know? I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is. Let's figure out the culprit! How? But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. Yeah. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you I'm trying so to get me to do something? What You've been watching us do? solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Huh? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain, too. Uh. This will be the final class trial! Me versus Monokuma! Oh. You versus Monokuma? Yeah, what? When I play a game, I intend to win. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! Oh. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? He's a little... As I suspect, he's... your thought process defies all logic. He's fucked in the head, man. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students are Monokuma, See, don't he doesn't know, who know what it is, is, though. Then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter. Oh. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. 
But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Oh. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party. Oh. What? <laughs> Ultimate this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? You. What? <laughs> what? God. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say to this. Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. Oh, well, that's the point of ignoring someone. Even if they talk, you don't listen. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, Whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. Ugh. I guess you are both robots. <laughs> <laughs> so another truth comes out, that piece of evidence makes more sense now. That evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Excuse me? If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what evidence needs to be analyzed against the video of Kaito getting crushed, huh? This is it! Yeah. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Yeah. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's yeah. true. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. You get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Uh, what? He, what? He's been on our team for like two minutes. What? Must be the reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No Wait, reason, really. Actually, that's just my twisted personality. I could believe that, but I think I have an idea. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video, it must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Hangman's get it, oh god. I think I know. Yep, I do. Victim? I need an eye. Is that an eye? I can answer. It is. There you go. Thought so. The victim. Huh? Is it even possible? No. That's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. Yeah. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? But who the hell else could it be? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? What? Who then? Honestly! There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim would switch. 
<laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? Well, didn't you say the camera pauses and whatnot? So the minute it covered good enough, you could have paused the video, went and switched, and then played again and immediately crushed it. Because it kind of goes down slow the and then just crushed. Doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Yeah, you could have paused it. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Uh. Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. It also, if be. the victim was, was pause it. then that would mean Kaito is still alive. Yeah. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Like I say, you could have paused it because, like, the time of going all the way down with the press to, like, the closing, like, it kind of jumps and he smashes. Like, I don't know if that's... I'm pretty sure I've seen hydraulic presses and they continue to go down at a steady method to crush. You know, just jump down immediately, but I don't know, maybe it's just oh. the game. And what trick is that? You pause the video, probably. See? You don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. You could have paused it right before it got crushed, and switched it, and then continued. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? Kaito is alive or not? Maki, I'll try. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't want that. Oh, Jack is okay, fine. Then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Oh. Himiko, if you call her that again. She's gonna throw something yes, at you. Please. Oh, no, she's fine. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> let's all talk it over together. Yeah. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. Yeah. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? You could have paused it when the press was about to crush little Kaito, and then you play it when you switch the body. Has no one seen this? Have you guys not been paying attention? Uh, what was that accent? I don't even know. You could have paused the video. It's like jump cuts. You could have just paused it. Did some shit, and then kept the cam- Because if- as long as the camera's in the same position, then you click play again, and then you continue whatever you're doing! I it's like stop animation or whatever, it's like you just pause time. and then you move it! Okichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious! A trick to that video. Yeah, see, it just, like, slams down. I'm pretty sure hydraulic presses, you know. What could it be? What is suspicious about it? I'm pretty sure all you gotta do is just pause the video, but okay. Hydraulic press, I just poke, and it's wrong. There must be some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out! There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? Hey, what does the murder video have for a uh, description? <sighs> no, the have... filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Uh, the person in that video... Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video time. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Could it be... 
that the video was shot at another location? What? Any other bright ideas? Come on, everybody, speak up! I feel like someone said something that this before. We put our heads together and find the hole. It won't fall into the There must be some trick to that video. Come you all gonna play it! Functioning that camera. Did the placement of that camera set the position of The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? The person in that video. Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's not that. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Kibo's oh, statement, but I don't know. That video. Which... That's what you all gotta figure out! Oh. I'm pretty sure it has to be Kibo's statement. No, really? It's not. Uh, goddamn it. Must what be is some it? trick to that video. Maybe it's just the hydraulic press. Really, Kaito? Something seems off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. There we go. I agree. Yeah. Like I said, like it goes down at a rate. Why did it jump just to down? Is to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Yeah. Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press, it just kept going down slowly. It didn't ah! and slam down. Like you know what I'm saying? It just did that. It didn't slam down. And then. Ah! Yes, rolls right. out. <laughs> the hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. Yeah. But in the video, it just stops and slam. The hydraulic press stopped briefly, right before it crushed the body. Yeah. But why would it stop? Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. Oh boy. Is there an emergency stop or something like that on it? What's this? The connector ball, I think. What is that? Okay. Oh, that's why. Emergency stop, then. Something like I that. See it. I thought that was like the camera. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the only way to stop the hydraulic press is the four stop button. Yeah. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the four stop button. When you say someone. You mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually... Maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. If you pause the video, you could. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While well, the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stopped that, you could have easily swapped the bodies. 
time on that. Again? Uh, I, ju I just did this. There's the camera, so. There you go. I told you, all you have to do is pause the video and you can switch it. it it's not that hard to think about, guys. He said the recording fixtures are the stop, play, and pause. The same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. I've been saying this whole time! You have? When did you ever say that? I mean, I've been saying it. So Maybe I'm Monokuma. Maybe I'm the mastermind. The ha 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 ha! Anyways, fuck. <sighs> but now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Yeah, it had to be set up at an angle where you wouldn't see the body at some point. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? Probably up here. Set up right next to the. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Uh, here. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, that's the press, right? So it had to have been set up. Like at the control panel, right? Where was the camera set up? Set up on the side of the press. That would be pretty close. There you go. Can press the switch right there. Oh no! Is that not where the control panel is? I can't see. Uh, is this not the control panel right here? There! I swear I hit that! <laughs> I swear I hit that! Set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, you would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. Yeah. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Yep. Camera angles, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Uh, Cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. Yeah? There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. But then again, Himiko, when does your magic ever come up in trials? When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? Yeah. That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. <sighs> you don't get to make that reference. Uh oh. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body! So well, Kaito's who's... still alive! Well, wait just a minute. Yeah, I mean, there, there was still the fact of the poison, so, you know... What? But I just summed it up so nicely. <laughs> Kimiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Kokichi's the mastermind, so he... But Kokichi's not. Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... So he could I don't think that. he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. Yeah. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? He did it in one, cause Monokuma's a sneaky little fuck. <laughs> well, I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. 
And he is on our side. <laughs> the discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. What do you mean by thrown away? <laughs> thrown away? Yeah. The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at that time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trip, then the real victim... Oh... Uh, third party, the master... No. <laughs> Could have been Mastermind or we wouldn't be in the trial right now. There are only two people in the hangar, Kaito and Kokichi. I don't believe either, but it's no real. Oh boy. So wait a second. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaito switch places with? There's only one person he could have switched places with. Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. I can't let anything escape this time. Oh. Well, I might die because I can't even take a guess. <laughs> Uh... I can guess the first word, but... <laughs> God. Victim. I don't know what the second word is. I can't guess. H. Victim. Victim. Ah, oh, I can't think of this word. Victim. I can't think. It's too late at night for me to be thinking of words like that. I have one heart. H E L. Uh, it might be an obvious word, but. I think I got it. Yes! Oh my god, it just came to me when I have one goddamn heart left. Uh, there's no R. Uh, there, there, there's no R. Uh, I, I, I need an R. 
Oh wait, no, maybe it's just victim help. Yeah, I thought it was helper. <laughs> God damn it. I can't believe I overlooked this. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped, then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. But why would someone... Why? An impossible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. But why? Victim and culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? Yeah, why? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. There, what the shit? So, have you realized who done it yet? Uh, yeah, and if so, then fuck. The culprit of the case. My detective work hasn't failed me. The culprit inside that Exosol is. Oh, now it's just Exosol. It can only be them. Is it my boy? Oh my god. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaiko, which means. Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera. At first, if the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi would have had to be Kaito. But must why? be Kaito. What? I'm confused. Why though? So, the person inside the Exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? But why? So the culprit for this case is. It would make sense because he didn't know about Junko or the remnant of the spare. Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? I don't even know. Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. What? Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. What? Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. You yeah, I did want to say there was. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. Yeah, I did say that earlier, because even though it's like, what happened about the poison arrow, though? But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote. So it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? No, he doesn't! Huh? Are those the only options? What other options are there, man? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be! 
The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito! I saw Kokichi drink the antidote! There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. Oh, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it, I believe. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But, Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. Yeah. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's... Impossible! There is no other possibility! I killed- Oh, my bad, I didn't even mean to- Oh, I gotta fight her, but I didn't even mean to I cut her off like Kaito. that. I have one heart, man! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! You're the one- It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you this is the truth! But you keep getting in the way! You're so goddamn annoying! Oh god! It doesn't matter what you say! I'm telling you this is the truth! I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted oh, to believe great. I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Oh my god! I don't see those! I know what I saw. <laughs> I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. It ends here! Those have been a lot easier in this game. <laughs> I know I fucked up a lot when I first played too, but this is this is actually pretty easy Kokichi to get those. He just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. Yeah. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She yeah. didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this oh, was all gosh. part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. Yeah. He went so no, far no, Nagito. <laughs> We've seen it with Nagito. Sister. He planned his own murder. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. 
No, no Nagito too. No. <laughs> but you guys don't know him, but you don't want to know him. <sighs> Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? Huh? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? What? I'm fine with being an extra. Though. So. Huh? Why? Yeah. If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't <laughs> keep these words in my mouth. <laughs> 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 in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god, he chimed in so fast. Oh, that was the best thing ever out of this game. That was the best line I've ever heard. He just chimed in so fast like, nah, I'd still kill you all. Oh. <laughs> no, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. Oh my god, that was amazing. He just, and it got silent as he chimed in too. <laughs> but why? Oh my god. You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma oh gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore? Kaito, I believe in you. Mm hmm? If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the best. That was the best. The best thing ever. <laughs> he just... <laughs> he said, nah, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> Oh my god, I loved it so much. Anyways, um... Oh god. That was... That was, that was the funniest thing this game has given me. That was the funniest line in the whole game. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was... I don't know, it's between this and the Sonic line. These, those both... <laughs> Those both were just amazing. Holy shit. I don't know how much is left of this, but if they can pull anything funnier than that. Oh my god, I think I'll die. I'm just laughing. <sighs> ah, an exile inside the hangar. Oh, that's, um... Trying to like settle down for a while. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see here. Oh 
<clears throat> and then you that to make it better. Um, I haven't used that, but hey. I don't know why, I'm, I'm always silent on these, even when I'm not depressed it was during the trial, but it's like, it's kind of common to listen to this music and kind of look through the comic book. But I don't know. Uh, sorry if everyone's like, why the hell are you so quiet? Oh, that was really good I only have one health! Don't think I should, don't think I should be making mistakes like that. Uh... uh Left, oh boy, this is the truth of the case. Now let's listen to this. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together last night. Kivo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exocil hangar. It's like a legit case, but isn't it like a duffel bag? When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on him, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. 
But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Black Imp, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike Nine poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pre- Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was Maki kind of tried desperately to break into <laughs> the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike Nine poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, 
Kokichi pressed the four stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. Jesus. He wanted to win Still the kill. Still disturbing game, to kill that way. And dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. That's some shit. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. Oh, shit. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. No, that's actually bad, because now my boy gotta get killed. For real now. God I'm right, damn aren't it. I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? What? You're Still not gonna admit it? Honestly. Admit it? But it's wrong. Is it? But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really kind of. Then open there, up the thing! He would have admitted it by now. Can't you just open it up? Is Shinichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my deduction work was flawless. It's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exosol. So why is Kaito still fighting? Is this about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? Open the pod, then. You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. Yeah. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this <laughs> Why is he saying be? anything? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin? I see, so that's your objective. 
you mean to ruin the killing game itself? That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Hanakuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Uh, I'm not gonna start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Yeah. Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. I just questioned, why was his voice so light in the beginning? It sounds so normal now. It sounds just like it used to, but in the beginning, it was really light. What yeah, happened? I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic, and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Shuichi Sayara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's... more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that Exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Okiji's the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I trust Shuichi! Kaito is trying to ruin the game. That's why he died from the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life in the line. So put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything that I'm determined up until now, what if I turned it all on its head? Yes, I need to lie. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that Exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Because if I got that wrong, I would have died. <laughs> that's good. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? <laughs> the truth <What>? is, <laughs> after we found the crushed body, I saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on! Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito was trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito was risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by it. I believe in Kaito. Believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work. Fine, I'll just lie. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. Uh. If you guys are wrong, you're going to have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? Uh, <laughs> uh Kaito, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to die now. We can't vote for Kaito. 
Stop it! That's enough! Huh? It's over. Do. Oh, my boy came out. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. Oh. K Kaito! So, it really was him? <coughs> My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. I don't know. It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. Ugh. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. My boy. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started. <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time. Oh, my boy. <sighs> God damn it. I mean, you killed little shit, but now you gotta die. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. So I'm gonna vote for Kokichi, I feel like I know. No, he's dead. Oh, wait, no, we all voted for Kaito. Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Oh boy. No cuffs. They're all dead. Uh, that's kind of depressing. Shit. My boy is gonna die now. Well, well, if the culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even morons can't screw this up. Right. The blackened who killed Kokichi Oma is Kaito Mamota. You all got it right. Hmm. So you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Makiro voted for me. <laughs> what a relief! Well. I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know... But man, was it hard to act like Kokichi the whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lies. Jeez. He seriously... Um, seriously, look at this huge script he wrote. Oh, God, why? It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. That's disturbing. Huh. But even so, I still had to ad-lib. You guys couldn't tell, though, huh? The dis remnants of despair thing and Junko, you didn't know, so that kind of made me was like, what? Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Oh. Hmm? hmm? Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game, so why did you kill him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. She was protecting Kaito or just believing in him like me. That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it's just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time. A plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw the them off guard? W what are you talking about? You're the mastermind! Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? 
You all fell for it, but you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control, I had me make it. I have to make him sound like he's dying, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mysterious messages in the courtyard, using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? What the hell? Why'd you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind Shit! was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it? Yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game, but instead this happened. I'm gonna die by Maki's hand. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Why? Oh, because man. the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything's ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it. So whoever that person is, they also investigated Maki's actions, too. I'm disappointed. Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Could it be... Maybe we're... Uh, maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights. So we would get Kokichi as a remnant. Uh, so we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair. Which means. So the flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so. This is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair? Yeah, that's very, very, very convenient! Uh, we're all students of Holtzweek Academy and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I would never have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for I you. Mean, anyway, like I was saying... You know... Then who is this true mastermind? Uh, who knows? I don't know either. But... But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it, but is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you. <laughs> to kill me. What? I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown, and then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself that Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But... What? Um, that's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Blacken was? And this is what he said. Well, you know... Even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up! What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler about the rules. There would be no point in making this game in the first place. But... But Monokuma has been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this... Can't, uh, death game is being shown to someone. D d d d do, the, d do they know I'm posting it to YouTube? I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm serious though. Like, technically, the person playing the game, and if they're a streamer or like a YouTuber, they're showing this to people. So you know, in a sense, 
fourth wall breaking this, it's not necessarily wrong. But is there an audience? I thought the world what was dead. So this is some kind of show? But who'd be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right, the flashback light is the reason we even remember that. Ah. But Kokichi might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after the class trial, there's no doubt. Listen up. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong. Why he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just like Kokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A deaf game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Hey. What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> who can say? Uh, why won't you tell us? We're fr we were friends during the trial. You guys. Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Well, humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well then, then here's another question: Who are you really? If Kokichi's a remnant of despair, uh, a remnant of despair is not the mastermind. Then who is the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? <laughs> not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that huh? why are you just so uh what what you're just too cute what, what? huh really hey i understand kokichi's plan but why did you agree to work with him kaito why did you agree agree to kill kokichi because when isn't he protecting you technically too because you because he saved your life you should have just ignored him he's better off dead anyway ah. It was kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. What? Jeez. Jeez, I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you! Don't screw around! What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the black... And yeah, I thought he would probably do it to save Maki. And her crime would be exposed so easily. Well, no. if that happens, then Maki and I would have been died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? Damn it, he's you? playing dirty, so that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no deaths I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself! Anyway... This is our chance, our chance to end this killing game! Ruin this killing That's game! That's why you have to kill me! So we can win and ruin this killing game! We'll bring the true mastermind, and everyone who's watching! <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair! And then everyone who died can rest in peace! <laughs> oh, ah, crap! I'm gonna die soon. Can we get this started already? Damn! I kind of felt insane actually laughing like that. <laughs> Kokichi's a bad influence. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know, this time wasn't boring, right? Wait, did he actually say it? No, he didn't. I, but... Now that I think about it, I can't lie. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't just some plain villain who does things and that's it. Kokichi put me through all the fucking emotions. I hated him. I sort of liked him as a character a little bit. Then I hated him again. He got me pissed. Got me upset. I said before that Kokichi, if he was the mastermind, he would have been the worst. But in a sense, he puts you through all the emotions going through this. My boy... Good job. You might be one of the best characters I've ever actually seen. You're a little shit, but you you did not bore me. You you put me through a lot of shit. I can admit that. Jesus Christ. That, that it's kind of like hitting me like weirdly like at the end Kokichi actually was all right. I mean he was an asshole of course, but he didn't disappoint. He lived up to his asshole nature. Punk. Jesus Christ. Then he blackmailed you by using me. Ah. 
No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. I didn't have any other choice. Because I'm out of time. What? Time. Could it be... Pencil, you mean your health? What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. My bad. Uh, my bad. That was a lie. Huh? Why? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad, honestly. I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, it can't be. You no. Know. But I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. My in my memories, I was fine during God, I keep hiccuping. I was fine in my medical uh during my medical exams for my training. He was fine during the medical exams, and that means Could it be This might be the virus, what? yeah. Virus. If I remember correctly, one of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hope Speak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be... This must have something to do with the virus. Kaito didn't use the flashback light, so he might not remember but... it. But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't. Well... Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the gopher project. To tell you the truth... You could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. What did you say? What? <sighs> Kaito was infected with the virus? But how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know... When I figured, uh, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so... Kokichi left me with a whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Shuichi'd see right through it in the end. Huh? What? Well done! Ha <laughs> ha! That's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're really something. Well then... Kaito, did you... That's right. Yeah, I knew you guys would figure out everything. Or everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed stuff up during the trial, I knew, um, Shuichi would see the truth. That's my sidekick. <laughs> Just what I expect from my sidekick. Why? Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then... If you knew it was pointless from the start, then why sh uh, then you shouldn't have gone that far. Ah. Nah, it wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? Why? I mean... Because of all this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind, got we got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Behind this truth, there's gotta be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? The real truth? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. But... You talk as if he was your partner when you hated him so strongly before. What? No, I ate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. Yeah, me too, but like I said, he didn't disappoint. He lived up to be the asshole that he was shown to be. He did not disappoint in that regard. He 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 filled his character role completely. He was set up to be this asshole. He presented himself as this asshole, and even up till now, I hated him, and then he tricked me into making me think, oh, he's not that bad, and I just hated him again, and... Jesus Christ, it's... I don't know what to say about it, and it's actually quite scary. Uh, he made us go through so much crap to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. Yeah. Hey! It's getting pretty hard to breathe, so please, can you... Hey, so... Hey, can I ask one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. <sighs> that was a lie, obviously. How could... A game that you're forced to play be fun. Shit. I had to think of this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little... The bastards who created this game to toy with our lives and the shits enjoying it. They all piss me off. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Huh? Kokichi said that? Ah. That could have been a lie, too. He probably just said it so I cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? If 
think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! No, it's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. What? I wonder which one it is. The lie or the truth? Even now, at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. But maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. <sighs> that pretty much uh, wraps up my explanation. Now, finally, <laughs> I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? What, me? I mean... To be honest, I was... Yeah, yeah, you do need to apologize. I mean, I, I, I was just trying my best. I was doing what you told me and seeking the truth, and then you get mad at me. It's like, what? Uh, that hurt, man. You were my best friend, and now you gotta die. That's, <laughs> this actually hurts. <laughs> to be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool, and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong! Hey, no, Kaito. That's not true. Hey! I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's because of him, and now... <laughs> when he presented himself as the best friend, and we hung out and stuff like that... I kind of got this feeling that, you know, we'd survive to the end. Like, we'd make it, but... Oh, you gotta die, man. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair at all. When you made me your sidekick, you said you'd take the responsibility. And that... That's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now I'd be... <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, Jesus! Uh. Kaito! Kaito! What? Kaito, are you okay? Uh, how can I be okay? I'm about to die. Okay! You sure are, Bako, cause it's punishment time! Uh, punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. Oh? Yeah, pretty much. Oh? Oh, you planning to get in my way? You know what'll happen if you do, don't you? So much. I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you from the start anyway. Indeed. Yes! Uh, wait, did I just ad lib? I plan to kill you anyway from the store. Well, I just whipped it around. Yes, I've been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it out. No, stop! Kaito! No, Kaito, I can't let you die, That's Kaito! It. Wait, did I just double. No, I, no, Kaito, I can't. I can't let you die. I kind of continued on. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you! I lost breath. What was that? What's so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. You know what I mean. Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice. If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey! What are you talking hey! about? All right, kids, time for your grand re-entrance. What? Excuse me? <laughs> oh no, they're alive! It's oh no! Oh no, they're back! Oh no! <laughs> I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell it, it's um, it still said um, it's still Monotaro. What? What the? That's a total. That's totally a lie. By the way, what the hell's going on? I could have swore there was more of you clumps before. Hell yeah! Oh, my boy Kid is back though. Fuck! I know. <laughs> if I know, let's destroy Monotum now. This sad sack is burning me to, uh, bumming me the fuck out. And now he's quiet. What did you say? Monodon might kill you again. What the? Weren't the mo all the monocups completely destroyed? Those old monocups were destroyed. These monocups are the latest model. They still got their factory setting, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. Thank you so 
But who cares? Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. What was that? You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the Monica. But finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. Does, does that mean, does that mean a, 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 a more, more dog and rope up? More, more dog and rope after this one? I mean, if it's that easy to make another killing game, uh, finding other people. Oh, well. I got no idea what's going on or what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We're so fucking lovable and shit, except Monodum, of course. Uh, hey, hey! Oh, do you know what else this means? Shing. Now that the Monicums are back, I've got my ex- this all an entourage protecting me again. Still want to defy me now? This is bad if he's got the exosols again. So what? I won't let you it kill doesn't him. doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaito. I'll fight until the end. Uh, stop. Even if you fight the exosols, you'll just get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. No. No, I won't give up. Maki, no. enough already! I... I never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I fought to protect someone. Huh? Uh -huh. And I've never been given a nickname like Maki Roll. <laughs> I'm not really sure that's the best nickname. I I don't know. Anyways, before either what? you I... and I never met someone as stubborn as you before. Have you met me? And I've never... <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I had to take a moment to go scream outside, but, um... <laughs> Fuck! Um... Fuck! Ugh. God! Ugh. Do you hear that noise? Did listen, listen closely. Did you hear that sound? Did you hear it? That was the sound of my heart breaking into a million pieces. Anyways, what? Maki roll. Maki. No. I don't want this to end. I just. Don't! I won't let you kill him. That's why I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki Roll, I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have much time left, as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. I... But I... Hey, so... Hey, Maki Roll, I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before you hated yourself so much, you didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? It's kind of scary because Kaito and Maki remind me so much of Myosis, Juzo, and Kyoko. Kaito is exactly like Juzo all up front and getting Maki to like open up and stuff like that and just like Ju This is way too freaking weird for me. <laughs> this kind of hits harder than you think. Um, yes, I like Maki, but seeing that they remind me of the o my OC so much, it... It actually brings a tear to my eye to see Kaito die. Like, it, it brings a tear to my eye regardless, but it's like... I feel like I'm watching my own characters die in a sense. Like, Jesus! Uh, well, not characters, because Kaito's only gonna die, but... Character die. It's like... He's just like Juzo in a sense, like just straight up all out there and trying to be positive and optimistic and trying to encourage Maki who's kind of giving up emotions and everything like that. It's, it's, it aligns too perfectly, almost to a point where it kind of scares me, but uh, we gotta continue on. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. Not anymore, huh? You're alright now. <laughs> You fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn, like, to like yourself. Come on, man. Hey, hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys, too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. All right, Kaito. 
I won't cry. I'll endure it. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah, hold it through. I... I can't cry, even if I wanted to. <sighs> hey, sorry about the mono... Oh, wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do! Dong, dong, dong! Oh, boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Hey! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing about that is... Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, that's all I was about to say. It's like, the thing about that with Wanotaro said, Wanotaro kind of had, like, some Alzheimer's thing going on before, so... In a sense, it's... I, knew, I know Monokuma said they're factory settings, but it's like... Like, they're new characters, but... It's the thing with Mon Monotaro, it... it it's, I don't even know. That, that kind of confuses me, because that makes you think, well, is it because he's new, or is it because of the whole memory thing? But anyways... But let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monoku. Get ready! You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you. Yeah. That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. We'll end it, so please don't worry. Shuichi! And Shuichi, never forget, you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible don't is possible! Yeah, don't forget. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so! Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kaito. Oh, Maki's really crying. Maki Roll! Maki Roll, how long are you gonna cry? You should smile! I'm sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course! My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> Alright! Alright then, let's end this with a bang! Kaito Momota, Special punishment suited stars. for the luminary of the stars! Okay, okay. Oh, don't gotta you don't gotta tell me! I'm excited to get this started! Get ready. Oh yeah, well screw you! I'm not gonna die the way you want! It's punishment time! Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh. Oh, it's the old punishment? From the very first game? Blast off, see in uh, ignition or something. So is he gonna come down his bones? Because this is gonna be a straight up callback from the first one. Oh. Excuse me? Oh. So he's going down instead of up. What's happening? So is he actually still going to go to space? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this awful gate fell off. I didn't know it was made of metal. Uh, my boy is already dead. So, that's what you get, Monokuma. Your execution failed. He was right. He didn't die the way he wanted him to. That's what you get, you little shit. Well, my boy is dead. At least he died normally through his sickness, other than Monokuma's garbage. Anyways, Kaito. Uh, I think Kibo broke. Right? Kibo, are you okay? You got hit by that debris when you protect- Well... I I'm fine, more importantly. <laughs> oh. Hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaito won? Yeah? Eh, what do you mean, Kaito won? Because... He died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay! Uh, that's right, Kaito wasn't killed by you. Yeah. It's Kaito's victory! 
Well, we lost. I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out of a, uh, he certainly went out a stubborn jackass, like a stubborn jackass. Monokuma is legit pissed. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What's that? It's not over. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! No shit! Hey. It, uh, ain't it written in the school's regulations? That's right. The killing game will go on until there are just um there is just one blackened or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want the rule is because you're showing this to someone. Well, I just want an entertaining killing game, but you certainly are entitled to your opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. Oh, that's a new sprite. I made a promise to Kaito I will end this killing game. That's it. And to give Kaito's death beating, I swear, I will keep my promise. You're right. Yeah, we're not gonna go... We're not going to let anyone else die. Who's even gonna play that game anymore? It's already over. Kibo is broken. Hmm, mm, you could cut this tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually... Feels like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops! Yo, Pops, fill us in. We want to help you out. <gasps> oh, Manos Manosuke is acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. They're so cute. Oh, I can't help myself around you cute little cubs. Oh, God, the tongue is back. Gather around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. <gasps> a whole month? Won't that take longer than a whole chapter? I'll tell you about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long, farewell. Well, my homies are all back. It's a modern dog. He, he wasn't really my homie. He, he was a little, a little shit. Anyways, uh, hmm? why did I stay behind? Cause I want to give you all a reward for working hard. We don't want it. Just go away. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this killing game can be stopped. There's something... Um, there's nothing in... A par ugh. There's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. No way! Nah, -uh. This game is gonna keep going and going for a long time! During his ranting, Monokuma took us. Huh? Huh? Flashback light? Oh, he did it for us. What? What? What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. <laughs> and that hope... Why do you sound like Mario? <laughs> and that hope doesn't exist here at all. The killing game will never end! What's wrong with Kibo? Was that like an antenna or something? And then Monokuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared that there is no hope. After that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. And not just Kaito, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted. We lost both of them. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. Junko. Junko. Excuse me? Uh, excuse? What? what? Uh, but you should be dead! Ah, uh, the killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. I'll repeat over and over. Oh, it'll repeat over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's simply. It's that's just simple. Supply and demand. <laughs> My girl is back! Oh, <laughs> shit! Wait. No. No. 
Is this another virtual world? Ah. Uh, no. Uh. But anyways, we gotta stop. We're we're, we're, we're oof. Told you them class trials nowadays. Oof. Anyways, I kind of do hope there's another Dongan after this, cause. So, cause what well, that, that little comment Monokuma said, it's easy to get participants. So does that mean it's easier to make the games? Or I don't know. But if there is another one after this, I'll be uh, fucking ecstatic, cause I love these games. But. Is this another virtual world? I think I thought of that earlier because of something, I don't remember. But is this another virtual world? Because that was Junko, that was my girl. And the same laugh and everything, that, that, that's my girl, so what? What's going on here? Like, is this another virtual or is she somehow back? Anyways, <laughs> that's enough for one day. A lot has happened. My heart got broken. I lost my best friend. I just want to go to sleep. I've been playing all night. It's time for me to go to bed. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button and save it to your favorites. Also, share it with your friends. This has been Connections. You can follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Everybody.